morning. So, still loving the uh, Hada Labo products. I tried, um, as you saw this morning in the skincare lineup, I tried that uh, Milky Hyaluronic Acid Lotion stuff, and mm, it's okay. It's de it's definitely a humectant. Okay, it's not a standalone moisturizer. I don't really find that it adds much to that super plumping gel cream. It's slippery. A little bit goes a long way. Both products, both the super plumping gel cream and that um, lo milky lotion stuff, um, a tiny bit goes quite quite a long way. So yeah. Oh, and then um, the CeraVe AM uh, sunscreen one goes on on top goes goes over it quite nicely but anyways I um, am headed over to my mom's house but I placed an order for our lunch here and I'm picking it up to take it over to her I am at fajitas a go go I've been wanting to try this place apparently they have really good uh, veggie fajitas um, so I'm gonna go ahead in and pick it up but they'll deliver it to you but easy to pick it up because they are close by. Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm picking up. Yeah. So I just made it to my mom's and I brought her some skincare because this is leftover from stuff that I didn't even really use in my oh, Neutrogena my one. <laughs> um, we've got, you know I don't really use shaving cream, but this is an Aveeno shaving cream. It's supposed to help with uh, razor bumps and it's fragrance free. So maybe you can try that and let us know how it is. And then I brought her the Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Hand Cream fragrance free. This stuff is fantastic. I've got two tubes of this already, so. You can have that one, and then this is the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair that I tried a few times. And you like this. You've used this yeah, before. I used to use that. In fact, I've uh, gone through like three of those. And then you like this uh, Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Yes, formula. I like them a lot. So I have that unopened. And then my mom's yeah. gonna try out. This is an an un, unopened box of the uh, Aben uh, Retron AL Advanced that I tried out for you guys. I have an unopened box, and then the one that I tried for her to finish up if she likes it. Some of the thermal spray water. Oh, that's I'm gonna really enjoy that because I ran out of my rose water. And then my mom's gonna try the tinted mineral sunscreen. Um, this was too dark for me, but you're a little darker complected than I am. Okay, so, yeah. let's try this. Ooh, well, this see how is nice really the Norwegian nice. formula hand cream yeah, is. This yeah, this is nice. I like it. I like it because it's not it's not super greasy, but it is an oint. You know, it is occlusive enough. Is it good for cuticles? Because I'm yeah. really. Uh, Pesky this is great cuticles. like when you're at work and your hands are dry because then you can just resume typing and it stuff and it doesn't grease. Yeah, it doesn't leave much grease. Yeah, because I it's hate when you one. put your hand lotion on and then you touch the door handle. Yeah. And you feel like you leave an yeah. oil slick. Yeah, it's grody. All right. Oh, cool. this is nice. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, wow. You like it? Oh, this is great. I'm going to take this on my walk. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. that'll be good here in the heat. Oh, that's really a lot nice. Of the, a lot of the viewers comment that they like using it. Oh, it gives you a rather dewy look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've been dewy in a long time. <laughs> And then oh. why don't you tell them about the Sabarino mask? I'm a little apprehensive oh. to try those yet, but... Um, I like it. I love it. It's nice in the morning. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, um, it doesn't adhere very yeah. well. On the top it does, but then down here it it's gets flappy. flappy. You kind of have to mold it to the yeah. face. But I, Does it sting it. or burn or anything no. when it goes on? But no, but I've you, you don't, skin. Yeah, you don't have rosacea. See, I worry that somebody with rosacea won't tolerate that because it's I got like a bunch of fruit. But I like the ease of you. She just peel one out. Yeah, that's cool. Does it I have do a backing? Do, does it have a backing no. when you take it out? No? Because if it does, I haven't been <laughs> <laughs> Remember the cheese? <laughs> 
Yeah. I love now that you said it. Bad. Funny story, when I was a child, my mother would pack my lunches to take to school, and I've never let her she forgot this one time she, made, story one time she made me a Swiss cheese sandwich, but she forgot to take the uh, plastic wrap off the cheese slice. <laughs> I bit into the sandwich. It and wasn't. Was, whatever. Yeah, cheese sandwich with the plastic on it. Yeah, no, this doesn't have a backing on it. No? Good. Good. Cool. <laughs> Less waste that one. I really like those. Fewer. I like that concept. Yeah, uh, we have. Let's go back there again. Oh yeah, yeah. They send me emails now. I'm like on yeah. their. I'm like on their mm -hmm. VIP list, and they got some intensive uh, sounding baking soda thing, which I'm not all about. So, is but that I did... like for the under eye baking? No, no. It's oh. baking so. It's some sort of a deep pour evacuator thing. <laughs> I don't know that I can that, get behind that. That's a little clinical. little uh, skincare update with mom because I know you guys like to hear her uh, her skincare. Oh look, here's my mom's uh, little uh, mommy daughter. Uh, this is cool. You didn't have this hung up last time, did you? Yeah. This is when we went to That's... Key West and here we are in Denver. That was Mother's Day. Yeah, this is at the Brown Palace Hotel in Denver. They had a champagne um, what do you call it? Fountain, that's so cool. They uh, pour champagne into the top glass and then it all trickles down. So we did that on Mother's Day 2008. Here we are skiing in Breckenridge. And both of us are sort of novice skiers. Oh, here we are at my med school graduation. Glad I lost those glasses. <laughs> and see how long my hair used to be? <laughs> Um, and there we are hiking as well. We hiked a 14er in Colorado, 14,000. And there I am as a child. And here we are doing a turkey trot in uh, Greeley, Colorado. We have a lot of layers on in that picture. So that is my mom's. Oh, there I am as a baby with my mom. That's a cool couch. <laughs> And this is Mother's Day many, many moons ago. <laughs> I um, was rocking my uh, coolie bar back then. Check out the uh, the brim on that. No, that was Easter, sweetheart. No, I'm, I know. I'm talking about the... Uh, oh, it was Easter, not Mother's yeah. Day. Yeah. I think you're wearing a dress with those uh, um, designing women's style uh, shoulder pads that were so vogue mm -hmm. back then. Look how pretty my mommy is. Aww. <laughs> so I brought some of the, I brought the rose hip tea and my mom's doing the first impression. It's really nice. I think it's probably packed with vitamin C. So it's that's not good. too strong? Not for me, no. No? I, yeah. I think it tastes it? good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. So our food looks really good. It came with a big bag of chips, which we put here in a bowl. Um, black beans, which are vegan according to the guy. Um, rice, salsa, um, guacamole, and um, I got an extra side of their veggies for us, which look awesome. Look, it's got pumpkin seeds, spaghetti squash. I think this is some kind of a maybe mushroom or eggplant, jicama, and then this wonderful looking cauliflower and asparagus. And then we got, and then here are the rest of the fillings. Comes with um, guacamole, salsa, looks delicious. Yeah, this does look good. And oh, this is the green crack sauce. This isn't guacamole, this is some sort of uh, salsa that they have, green, green. My mom's just a, uh, what the heck is in this? It's really The green good. crack sauce? I don't know. Cilantro, so, garlic. Here's mine. <laughs> wow, it really has a lot of garlic in it. Just did some Marie Kondoing and we're gonna go to uh, the Goodwill, so. Decluttering in action. Oh, but look what my mom found. This was uh, mine. Um, it's like a nice version of Anne of Green Gables with pictures. I remember this part where they get drunk. <laughs> Are you reading this? Yeah, I'm well, you gotta... it on audio. Ooh, who's that? And then, um, Do you, are you enjoying it? Now? Oh, yeah. It's very good. 
All right, the uh, pinnacle of decluttering here. The nice place about this is it's just a donation center, so you can't acquire more clutter. You just drop off and go. We decided to come over here to Walmart. <laughs> Look how cute these uh, insulated lunch totes are. It's really cute. Fourth of July is on a Tuesday this year. It's kind of a lame time to have that. I mean, I guess you can't pick the day of the week Fourth of July falls. <laughs> Isn't that clever? Oh yeah. It's good for uh, the pool. Nice. I like these. Yeah, you nice. have me at Aloha. That's cute. <laughs> it's good to put your bathing suit. What bathing suit? Seize the day. That's cute. <laughs> Walmart's got some cute stuff. Oh look, the uh, Walmart line of Yankee Candle has a sun tea. Remember I was, t I was talking about how we made sun tea in my uh, Vitacost haul? Let's see what it smells like. Oh, it smells nothing like tea, but it's kind of nice. It's not offensive. Marshmallow vanilla squares. Ooh, I like that. I have a pretty good candle selection here. Peaches and cream. Has anybody burned these Walmart candles? Are they, uh, I imagine they probably don't last very long. Look, Walmart has Walmart has a copycat version of my butterfly one. This one looks junky though in comparison to the one I have. I don't know. Seems like a good one for outside though. It's kind of nice. Not as nice as mine. Walmart's got some cute stickers. Look at these little pandas. Comes with a lot for 99 cents, 97 cents. Look at the cute little monkey. Oh, that's sweet. That'd be cute for a little baby shell. Yeah. I love stickers. <laughs> I collected them. And I would never use them. I just hold on to them. <laughs> Oh, FYI, guys, this is the Aquation brand you all are saying is very similar to uh, the CeraVe as far as a uh, the um, hydrating cleanser, um, Hydra Balance. Yeah, this has ceramides in it. it essentially, looks very similar to um, to CeraVe, which is the CeraVe face washes are 11 bucks, and the Aquation one's only six. So that's a great deal. I haven't tried it myself, but you guys say it's good. I haven't tried it myself, but you guys say it's good. And it's a good deal, it's six bucks. Firing up the ginger, uh, firing up the invigorating ginger and mint tonight. Hey guys, ooh, this is a good one. It's nice, yeah. This is from my Vitacost haul. I just love these Oracacea Aromatherapy uh, Room and Body Mists. Oh. Um, so I'm excited to have that back in my lineup. Back from uh, the uh, decluttering with my mom, it was really nice because I was able to give her some things that I didn't need in my life and were occupying um, unnecessary space. And likewise, she had some things that um, that uh, she no longer uses or maybe has never used that she uh, was able to give to me that I've actually really been thinking, gosh, I really need X, Y, and Z, and she had just happened to have them. So I'll show you guys those things in tomorrow's vlog. It, uh, but it's really fun how that worked out like that.
So anyways, I just got home and went to the gym and took my shower. Tonight I did the um, double cleanse again and I kind of like this. You know, this is my first uh, gateway into double cleansing is the Hadalabo um, oil cleanser and it seems okay. I mean, it's basically olive oil. I don't know what else is so special about it. And uh, it is, it does, it does a really good job taking the mascara off and the makeup off and the, um, and the sunscreen off. And then, um, you know, I, I do that right before I get in the shower. And then in the shower, um, I just use the Hadalabo uh, uh, foaming cleanser and it's very nice. And then still loving, I really love the skin plumping gel cream. I think this is the best thing so far. And uh, one that I actually, believe I will continue to use. I believe it's better than, I'm just going to say it, I think it's better than the Neutrogena Hydro Boost so far for me. Um, but tonight, for fun, I thought I would try, um, you know, I take a break from my Differin on, on the weekends, um, and so tonight to just kind of change things up and see how this goes without having Differin on board, he, he's He's on vacation for the weekend. Yes, I am still continuing different use through all of this because to me that's really what's doing all the work. But um, I thought I would come in with this COSRX Galactomyces 95, here can you guys see it? 95 Whitening Power Essence. I'm sure I'm totally doing this in the wrong order. But the reason I picked this up is because, um, you know, in my kind of review of ingredients, there is some evidence that uh, the yeast extract in this can ha impart a brightening effect by virtue of like antioxidants and a variety of things like that. Not for this product in, in particular, but just uh, the yeast extracts and the galactomyces extracts. But this also has niacinamide in it, like CeraVe and like a lot of these Hadalabo products. And I really think that that maybe is the ingredient that's sailing through. So anyways, the instructions on this are just so stinking cute that I thought we would just try it out together. It says on cheeks, Spread a generous amount to skin in to skin after enough rubbing. Okay, so I'm just gonna do like like an unsqueezing here. Oh, it comes out sort of similar to sort of similar to like uh, the serum -y kind of thing. Um, and all right, so we're gonna rub it in here. This is fragrance free, I noticed, which is another thing about it that I liked. That seemed fairly innocuous. Like I said, I, I fear I don't care to put a lot of fragrance or fruit extracts on my face. Um, you know, I just feel like that's muddying the waters too much. But this is nice and moisturizing, if anything. Um, so that's that's always good. I mean, we always need a little extra hydration. And then, all right. So hopefully, I I spread that in generously enough. Now I'm supposed to. I think I actually have have enough on my face. I think I'm, it says I'm supposed to tap the under eye areas like a piano. Ooh. Now I'm not gonna lie, that feels good. Some of you guys have asked me like, is there any evidence? Is, I never played piano first and foremost, so I don't know, what, what key am I in here? Um, some of you have asked me if there's any like benefit to massaging the face for anti-aging, no. But I'm just following the directions here. I would never like tell somebody to play piano on their under eye area. But what can I say? I generally try and follow rules. Okay, and this seems very rule oriented. All right, so, all right, you all can uh, tell me if I look brighter tomorrow, but <laughs> I've got to say with the uh, Hadalabo on board, I think uh, I really like this stuff a lot. Um, just as a little extra. This is a humectant, guys, uh, is what this is. And I think it's great. I would definitely repurchase this, so. Yeah, bringing in some new guys and trying some new stuff out. Um, I'm excited to uh, keep sharing my uh, my first impressions of these with you guys in the vlogs. I hope you like doing it this way. And uh, we'll see what who sticks in the lineup. I think this is a keeper, though. Uh, um, I wouldn't be surprised if my next updated skincare routine features him instead of Hydro Boost. But still love Hydro Boost. I mean, that's a good product. This may be more difficult for other people to obtain, but... But I'm going to conclude the vlog here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.